Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10, the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. I am just so excited today. I, today I did this look. It's very easy. It took me less than 10 minutes. I am super excited. My name is Dion. For those of you who don't know, if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If you're new, welcome to being here. Today I used the Viseart Warm Mats palette. These shades here, I can use any of these. These right here, and this one with and or this one in my crease and slightly above the crease. This is great for inner corner for me. This is great for like ombre look. These are great for pops of color and these here are great for me for deepening the crease. I cannot go wrong with the shades in this palette. If I just want something easy, put it on, pick up the palette and I'd have to put a lot of thought into it. This is, this will work great for me. I paired that today with the Sultry Muse palette and that looks like this. I use this color here on the first half of my lid and I use this on the second half. And I use this shade here as an inner corner highlight. And so I paired the Sultry Muse with the Warm Mattes today. And for my upper lash line, I use the Esom Dual Eye Pencil and I use the brown. And before I even finished one eye, I was like, oh my gosh, my eyes are itching. So I was kind of disappointed about that. And then I went back in with the brown from the warm mattes and I went over the pencil with that. I don't have anything on my lower lash line so I don't know why it's looking dark, but I like it. I don't care. <laughs> and so these two palettes, because of the tones and because of my skin tone, I cannot go wrong with these palettes and I love my makeup to be easy I love to not have to put a whole lot of thought into it if I want to go deeper than one of those two I can use the Viseart what is it <laughs> neutral matte milieu palette I have taken this palette with me traveling and done multiple looks on it over like a three or four day period and each look was distinctively different this one is hard for me to go wrong too but I do have to just be conscious of where where I'm placing what colors whereas the other two palettes because of the tones, I cannot mess up with those palettes. And so I was so excited about that, that I started thinking about the few eyeshadow palettes I have. I've seen videos, I have 250 eyeshadow palettes, I have 30 palettes I never used, all of that stuff. I only have a handful of palettes and I'm looking at them like I have like everything I could possibly want. And so I'm gonna show you the rest of my palettes. I did show you a little while ago the Natasha Denona Camel Palette, which I have not used yet. Very neutral. The tones, I cannot go wrong with this because of my own skin tone. And I purchased the Mini Glam Palette to pair the shimmers in this one with the Camel Palette. Again, I cannot go wrong with these colors. I'm trying not to keep glaring you. I cannot go wrong with these colors. So it's just easy peasy. Just pick it up, put it on. If I want something... You know, just neutral everyday look like this. The sultry palette, the warm mattes. If I want to deepen it up, I can pull out the natural mattes milieu. I love makeup to be easy. I love it. So I was looking at my other palettes and I'm like, okay, if I want this, I can use that. If I want this, I want that. If I just want something easy, something neutral where I can do multiple looks, the Natasha Denona Baby Barbecue palette. I have videos of using this palette by Rose this row, the middle row, the bottom row. So if I want something, you know, a little smoky, a neutral smoke, I can do this row. If I want a smoky colorful look, I use this row. If I want like a gray blue smoke, you know, do the top row. Or I can just do this little quad here, something really neutral. Or do this quad, deepen it up, or do this quad, add some color, or do like an ombre look using these three right here. Oh my gosh, it's like... I am just so excited right now and I'm so excited that I have a Zoom call over there on mute because I'm over here doing this video. <laughs> and if I want a different type of color, this is the Beba Barbecue. This is the Safari palette. So if I want different tones, different colors, but I still want mostly mattes, I can use the Safari palette and I have videos of this palette as well by Rose this row this row and this row if I want color go for this one if I want like a neutral little little bit of color go for this row if I want you know greens and blues you know smoke out do this row 
do this little quad right here for color do this quad do this one right here that's a cute little quad even this one right here is cute if you want it extremely neutral do this one you want to have some fun color do this quad over here oh my goodness i mean i you just uh, if i really want color and i want some shine i want some i know i'm sweating <laughs> If I want color, I want metallics, I want shine, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. This gives me those rich, 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 beautiful shades. The purples, the magentas. You have this little dual chrome. I believe that's a dual chrome. Like an olive green, brown, dusty, dirty thing. But it's gorgeous. And this one down here. I mean, this, I love this palette. I love every single shade in this palette. Even the cool tones. And I used to never like how I looked in cool tones. And that's how I felt also with the Viva Barbecue palette. I'm like, oh my gosh, cool tones. I love every shadow in that palette. The one I have not tried yet is the Metropolis palette, but oh my gosh, if I just want to be out of this world and just do some fun stuff, this is the palette. You can do neutrals with this. You have these shades here. You have all these golds. A few of them do look very similar. <laughs> you have some greens. You have some blues. You have turquoise. You have some golds. You know, you can do so much with this. So if I want fun, if I just have a day where I'm like, I want to do something, I don't know. I just want to try to be creative, pick up this palette and just have at it. Have fun with that. If I know I want color, I want purples or reds or magentas, the Lila palette. If I want, you know, just all mattes and I just want a simple look, pick it up and do a row if I want to be real simple. If I want to add a little more color and I love her cream to matte formula, want to go a little deeper. Get the Bieber, pick up the Bieber barbecue. Don't want to think at all. Viseart, the Sultry Muse, and the Warm Mats. If I want to go a little deeper, pick up the, the Mats Milieu. Easy peasy again. These two, the Camel Palette and the, the Mini Glam Palette. And I can offset any of those, <laughs> especially the matte ones, with my Inglot Pigments. But I am going to most likely be using these um, with the door line for under my lower lash line. So I'm going to be using those as liners. I am like sweating. I am so excited. So that is it for this video. That is it. Those are my working palettes. I've only dipped into the Metropolis palette to do swatches to try to match up or dupe with the Inglot pigments. Other than that, I have not done eyeshadow looks with this yet. My other three palettes I have not used yet, and I'm kind of thinking I probably won't, is <laughs> the Fenty Moroccan Spice palette, the Anastasia Soft Glam palette, and the Pretty Vulgar, which one is this one? Phoenix Rising. And when I had these previously, years ago, I loved them. But now with the D Natasha Denona and the Viseart, and renewing my love for the Inglot pigments, I feel like I have every type of shadow, every texture, every color that I could want. And I am just really excited about that because it doesn't take, you know, a gazillion palettes. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine palettes. Minus those three. And nine Inglot pigments. That is it, y'all, and I am so happy and I'm so excited. And so what I want to ask you is, what palettes do you have that you look at? Or what collection of palettes can you put together and really feel like, I have everything that I want texture-wise, color-wise, the finish. What collection of palettes th that you have that you can put together and really feel like this is every single thing I could ever want? So that's my question. I'm not going to babble. I'm going to go over there on a Zoom call. <laughs> and you'll see me in the next video. Thanks, guys.